Everyone is moving towards cloud. Maybe for cloud computing or for cloud storage. Now think about this, when you build your application or web application, you want to deploy it somewhere. Now you have two choices. You can either buy a hardware by yourself, so just go to a market, buy a huge amount of hardwares, and then you have to also configure it, deploy the application, and then for the entire lifetime you have to manage it. So it's a big investment you have to go for, right, buying all those machines. On the other hand, you can also go for cloud service where you just have to deploy the application and then you have to pay per use. You're not doing an upfront investment at the start, right? So that makes sense to use a cloud computing service instead of you having your own hardware. But that for the computing purpose if you want to deploy the application. But what about the cloud storage? Now when you talk about cloud storage, not just companies but also individuals or normal consumers, they are using it. So for company purpose, they are using it to store their huge amount of database, maybe the employee data, company transaction, financial data, everything. On the other hand, we have normal people, we have normal consumers. We are using it to store our photos, our files. Example, I have all my documents on the cloud storage, maybe on Dropbox, Google Drive, or maybe some other storage, right? So now we are depending more on cloud than on the actual things you have with you. You don't trust the hard copies because it may get damage you don't trust your phone maybe because your phone will be lost somewhere or the data will get corrupted not even computers right because if you are using windows we have a huge amount of chance that it will get corrupted so the idea is you want to keep your data somewhere secure because if you are using a cloud service they are responsible to do everything so they will have multiple backups of your files uh, they will give you 99.99 uptime so you can you can ask for your data anytime you want right and that too it will be very fast now since we have a good internet connection you can access any file instantly right so just so you, let's say if you want a photo of yours you can just go to your cloud storage ask for the photo you will get your photo instantly not just a small photo or maybe a big video or maybe a big file so everything can be kept on the cloud storage but that's where problem starts now let's talk about the financial terms uh, so let's say when you are using a cloud computing service, let's say for deploying the application, see it makes sense to pay them monthly, right? Yes, you have to pay them as per, pay as per use. Uh, so you are paying them monthly because you are using it. Your application is running. We have a lot of users who are using your application. Now, since you have users, they are paying for your service and you're paying for the cloud service. So it perfectly makes sense. On the other hand, we have data storage, right? Now for data storage, we have different type of data we, we normally work with. Now there are some data which we access very frequently. Let's say if you talk about corporate sector, so they want to access the data continuously, right? The current data. So let's say this is year 2019. So let's say for this, for this financial year, they want all the data in their hand. Okay, when I say in hand, I'm talking about the server, but then instantly they will get the data. They can't wait, right? So if you say, hey, I want the last week data, the server is responsible to give you data instantly. They can't say, hey, wait for one hour, we will give you data. We can't do that, right? Because that data might be critical, right? Or you want it instantly. But then we have some other type of data as well. So let's say you have a archive of data. So you have a you have a financial data of 10 years back and you want to save it somewhere. Not on your local drives, of course, you want to store it on a cloud. But the problem is the moment you say cloud storage, you are paying for, so let's say you have the archive data of 5 GB. So that 5 GB data is stored on your cloud service and you're not even using it. So let's say you don't want to use that data for maybe next one year. Maybe you want to use it tomorrow, but so let's say you're not sure how soon you want to access that data. And that's where saving that data on the cloud storage will be costly because you're paying it for monthly use. So you have to pay every month and you're not even using that. And that's where we have a concept of hot storage and cold storage. Now we don't have a clear difference between these two because every company have their own way of defining it. Now for some companies, hot storage simply means that your client and your server is connected continuously. That means they are online. The moment you ask for data, you will get it instantly. And the cold storage for them is offline storage. So let's say you have your data center somewhere, you don't know where it is, and you are storing that data in that data center, and that is offline. Right? It is not stored on a hard drive which you can access in instantly. Maybe it is stored on a tape drive. 
which is not connected to the server, the moment you say, hey, I want that data, the data center guy will say, okay, you need that data, wait for five hours, we will give it to you. In that five hours, they will take the tape, they will connect it to the, with the server, and then you can access that data. And that too, the speed will be damn slow. So we have some drawbacks there as well. So the drawback is, you will not get your data instantly, and the throughput will also be slow. But what's the advantage of using it then? The advantage is since that storage is not continuously connected with the server, you don't have to actually pay a huge amount of money to access that, right? And that's where we have to choose between hot storage and cold storage. So hot storage is you want to use your data frequently and you want it instantly. On the other hand, cold storage is basically you can store your data for a longer time. And if you want that data, you may have to wait for three to five hours. In fact, this is not a new concept. We have this big company, they are using it from a long time. In fact, we use it from a long time, right? Example, uh, in your machine nowadays, we have SSDs option, right? We have SSD and then we have hard drive. In fact, the machine which you buy now, you will get, let's say 128 GB SSD and one terabyte of hard drive. Now, if you compare the speed, SSD is faster than hard drive. And, but hard drive has a huge storage compared to SSD. Cost-wise, SSD, which is low storage, is costlier than the HDD. So that's where, so SSD, you can call it as a hot storage, and for us, that hard drive is a cold storage. But then we still have that hard drive connected. Maybe you can take an example of external hard drive, right? You, you bought it for 4 TB hard drive, stored it somewhere in your locker, you're not even using it. Maybe after some time your friend will say, hey, I need that those photos of last year. Then you will take out your hard drive from your locker, you will connect it and you will give it. That's a hot and cold storage. Now, if you talk about the cloud service here, we have two big companies, Amazon and Google. Now, Google have their own cloud service and then for the cloud storage, if you want hot, they have different one. For the cold one, they named it, named it as cold line. That makes sense. On the other hand, we have AWS, which has one of the best cloud service. Even they have S3, which is simple storage service. Uh, they have cloud storage there, but then it's costly. If you want to go for the cheaper version, the cold storage, you can go for Glacier. So both are good. You can just try it out. So it's the good to know knowledge. It's we have cold and we have hot storage. In fact, uh, Amazon also has a warm storage. Uh, so it comes between hot and cold. Uh, so that's about this concept where we talked about hot and cold and warm, of course, in between. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for other videos. Bye.